Jim Harbaugh is not going to survive. Back to him. Too suddenly, he has it done. He he was a and, you know, group of guys, coaches, players, mighty men. You know, you guys, I think I've said it a few times now that the Michigan Wolverines are pretty dang good. I've been saying it all season long, and I'll continue to say it, especially with the past few weeks of play from this football team. They should be number one in the country right now. And before some people come at me with, oh, Jack, give me a break. You know, Michigan hasn't played anyone all season or the, but Jim Harbaugh is a cheater stealing play signals. I genuinely want you to know I am a non-biased fan when it comes to college football or football in general. The Wolverines are legit and they're poised to make some noise this year. And if you guys are as excited as this knucklehead is for the rest of the football season, please remember to leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel because it does help me out. More Michigan fans get to see this and we're really making a strong push at 10,000 subscribers right now so I'd greatly appreciate it. I also wanted to say and give a massive thank you to all of you that absolutely killed the last Wolverines video. It was honestly the best video on this channel and currently is the most viewed. Can't tell you how much I appreciate the support so let's try to get 500 likes on this. But going back to Michigan, we gotta start with the fact that the NCAA really is seemingly starting to have it out for Harbaugh at this point. And look, I'm not saying cheating or signal stealing is okay but really this is getting ridiculous and it just feels like they have some ulterior motive to get Jim out and let me just take a second to ask you guys what team doesn't try to decode decipher or scout future opponents for an advantage like what happened to the thing called like a competitive edge and ultimately and I know there's going to be non-Michigan fans watching this what should give you guys solace in this is that if these accusations are indeed true there will be repercussions and asterisks on each of the last few seasons for this program so there you guys go and you know, this rule, which was only put in place in 1994 by the NCAA, was to eliminate disparities and provide equity for programs that couldn't really afford to send scouts or representatives of the respective teams. And that's all I really wanted to say about that topic because I know people would grill me immediately. But truthfully, that's my honest opinion, and we could very well be seeing the last year of Harbaugh in Ann Arbor. So this year really has to count for this football team, and ultimately what is getting me so excited for the Wolverines this year is just how suffocating and dominant they have been all season against their opponents and if you're playing against lower opponents you should have your backups in and still be crushing them and I got to be completely honest with you guys that was on total display tonight against Michigan State you know you guys can feel free to make fun of me in the comments as a Spartan grad but I got to give my respect where it's due god this was a blowout it's just really so unfortunate to be embarrassed at home like that and to have JJ McCarthy being pulled from the game in the middle of the third quarter and what was so impressive about JJ tonight was him on the move and just his decision making with the football. I mean, in my opinion, I think that's something that's really been on display full season. But finally, we got him culminated into something finally special and consistent, which is what really fans have been waiting for all season with him. And as I said in my last Michigan video, he's very similar to Joe Burrow. And tonight, he looked it with all the accuracy and darts he was delivering to guys. And to be completely honest, he arguably looked like the best player in all of college football. He's very much well on his way for top Heisman consideration. And on the night, he threw for 21 out of 27 passes, 287 yards with an average of 10.6, four TDs to zero interceptions, having a completion percentage of 77.8 and a passer rating of a 216. And he really could have kept going at it all night because State had no answer for this field general. I really think by the end of the season, he's going to blow out all of the Michigan school records. And I know people want to hate on him for barely playing in the fourth quarter this season, but on his second pass to Colston Loveland, it gave him 20 total TDs for this season. He he now has 18 passing and 3 rushing touchdowns for 21 after this game. Something fun that I saw on third downs this season, McCarthy has thrown just one incompletion with every other pass either going for a touchdown or a first down. And you really can't play quarterback better than that and right now there really isn't a better player in college football than JJ McCarthy. And as a Michigan fan you gotta love that from Jim Harbaugh who's just letting the guy rip and he's playing better than last year. Like this is why I think that they're going to go to the national championship this year because of J.J. McCarthy. And let's be honest, guys, this offense is completely stacked and overloaded with talent. Like, there was people in the last video giving me crap for saying Roman Wilson and Cornelius Johnson were one of the best wide receiver tandems in all of college football. Like, they legitimately are, and they have the numbers to prove it. Like, they're just the type of guys that when you need them, they can just do anything in a pinch, and that's what I love about them. And probably the most underrated star in the Michigan State game was A.J. Barner, who led all receivers with eight receptions for 99 
99 yards and one touchdown while sophomore tight end Colson Loveland continued to put up a show like he always does, adding four receptions for 79 yards and two touchdowns. In the past couple weeks, what Blake Quorum has been doing, grounding and pounding with Donovan Edwards, like the way that I look at it as is that the offense has many avenues and facets and abilities to beat any freaking defense they go against, and they nobody can stop them. Nobody has answers. And dude, just the physicality of the offensive line and just how they are continuing to produce such a stud offensive line at Michigan for the past five years is just insane. I have so much admiration for it because these guys are truly dominating in the trenches. And I have to say that because it's not sexy being an offensive lineman, but these guys are playing to the standard of standards, man. And going on to defense, I feel like it's the same thing on the defensive line, arguably outside of defensive end. I mean, these guys are being the run stuffers that they need to be and putting pressure. The one thing that is scaring me is going to be the outside contain on more mobile quarterbacks or when they go to Happy Valley in a couple weeks. Like against Michigan State, this defensive front was not allowing them to get in any rhythm at all. And the way that their linebackers are playing right now, oh my lord. Junior Colston, Ernest Hausman, Michael Barrett, like some of the best linebackers in the country right now. And my favorite player and somebody I talked about in the last video, Mike Sandra still, like people were trolling me and asking where he was at, but he showed up tonight. He had a pick six. And I know I mentioned a guy like Will Johnson last video. He's got to step up. But this Michigan defense has proven to be one of the best, if not the best in the nation so far. And there is so much first round talent all around. And right now it really appears the beauty of this defense is that there's really no weaknesses. There's depth and experience at every single level. And honestly, now that I think about it, I got to mention guys like Rod Moore, Braden McGregor, Jalen Harrell, Mason Graham, and Chris Jenkins. But honestly, there's so many playmakers here that I, I just can't. And for all the people that want to give crap about Michigan not playing people in the last three weeks of the season, they play Penn State, Maryland, and Ohio State. And it really appears that Jim Harbaugh and Jesse Minner have helped build a national championship caliber defense. And you guys know my dad is a Michigan guy. And I have to say the discipline, mental edge, and approach for Michigan for every single game they've gone into this season has been so, so, so very impressive. And that's why I think they're going to win the whole damn thing. This team is a well-built oiled machine. And if you're Jim Harbaugh, you got to go out with a bang, dude, if they're kicking you out. But anyway, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. It honestly sucks that Michigan State is where it is, but I'm so happy for Michigan fans and where this program has been. Let me know what you guys think down below about anything I said during the video, the Michigan State game, if they're going to win the national championship. Tell me what you think about Jim Harbaugh. But anyway, guys, I'll see you next time. Peace.